guys, and welcome back to Shuffle. So, let's just jump right back in. I've got to appreciate Kaede. I thank her for granting me a decent human lifestyle. Or humane lifestyle. Sorry. Ah, I messed up already. <laughs> However, I can only say this in my heart. I'm too shy to say it out loud. I have to go to the chemistry lab for the next class. The lab is located in the opposite direction of our classroom, the furthest room from us. If I go back to the classroom and get the textbook, I'll make it to the lab in our own make of time. I go up the stairs while drinking my milk. Move, move, move! Huh? Ah! No, please don't move! What the hell? As I look up the stairs, a girl is jumping down with a scared face. I see her blue and red eyes. I can't move at all. Just watch her fall in slow motion. And we get this one again. No, Mayumi. Since when are you, the, or when are you a contestant for the human bird contest? I think I just made my personal record. Well, I think you should retire now. I wait for my vision to get clear while holding my head where I got hit. And we have this one again. Hello. And I realized something outrageous. The most delicate part of the female is covered by thin fabric and exposed right in front of me. Two soft mountains are exposed in front of my eyes. If I poke them with my finger, it will probably suck me up. Hey, Mayumi, get up! Wait! I banged my elbow and it really hurts! This might be the biggest challenge in my youth. I can't stop staring at her exposed breast. I don't know if this is fortunate or unfortunate. What do you mean by unfortunate? You or you know I can't move right now. You should just pretend like you're not looking. But this whole situation is not normal. A girl does not fall off the stairs toward a guy's chest that often. <laughs> well, I guess I or, well I was in a hurry. She smiles brightly to my statement. But the chemistry lab is upstairs. I skipped my breakfast this morning. But if you start eating now, you'll be late for the class for sure. Being late to the class is better than my stomach rumbling during class. Don't worry. Your pride will not be hurt just by your stomach rumbling. Hmm. She smiles awkwardly and her eyes shine with a dark light. Hey, Suchimi-kun. I should get something in return since I let you observe something good. Hey. Stop, don't undo my belt. Too late. I will not stop until I check something. Since you hurt my pride, I'm going to hurt your pride as payback. Wait, just stop. You know I can attack you easily if I want to. I can rip off that piece of fabric that's covering you. Hey, girls are, mu or are more delicate at both being watched than guys. Don't watch. Close your eyes. That's not the point of the issue. Do you want me to expose them in front of everyone? Then I'm going to expose you too and make biology research out of it. I'll take progressive pictures of your erection, and it will be the legendary research of this academy. We're talking rationally. If we really do this to each other, it will be a disaster. We're not even thinking about standing up anymore. We battle each other to protect oneself. Now is the time to apologize! You're the one who smashed into me in the first place! Hey! What are you guys doing? What? Sia shows up suddenly. By the time we finally realize what we were doing, Mayumi is unzipping my pants and I am ready to take a take her underwear off. Um... Playing doctor? No, we're not. The students fly out from the classroom as soon as the bell rings after the fourth period. About half of the classmates... Uh, disappear in a flash. The next moment, Sia walks toward me with a happy face holding a lunchbox. Let's go eat lunch, Rinkun! You seem happy. Is something going on? Really? There's nothing special. Well, it's good that you're happy. Hey, we're heading up now. Hey, Rinkun! Huh? Aww, here it is. Here's what I wanted! Here! Ah! Uh... Sia comes right in front of my eyes all of a sudden. 
She brings her fork toward me and puts the food inside my mouth. Sia-san, what are you doing? I was jealous of Renchan yesterday, so it's my turn today. I've been waiting for this moment all day. Is that why she seems so happy today? Here! Ah! Uh, hmm, now the Princess of the Gods is challenging, huh? This is exciting! narine -san, will you give me a comment as her rival? Um, uh, what? Well, good luck, Xia-chan. Well, that's a predictable comment for you. Yup, very predictable. And while they make fun of the situation, Sia continues to put the food against my mouth. I guess I just have to make up my mind. Just like yesterday, people are staring at me from everywhere. I see the same guys from yesterday giving me a fierce look again. I make up my mind and slightly open my mouth like yesterday. Here! Ah! What? Everyone turns around to the small scream. Just as I thought, it was Kaede who screamed, same as yesterday. Oh! I'm sorry, it's nothing! She waves her hands and tries to act normal. Mayumi is trying hard not to laugh at her. Once again, Sia tries to feed me. Here! As I slightly open my mouth, Sia strikes her... Or not strikes. Sticks her fork inside of my mouth. Yes, she strikes her fork inside of my mouth. Kaede closes, or closes her eyes and faces the other direction. She's not screaming this time. I feel kind of guilty, though. Although Kaede is not screaming, I hear screams from my, uh, from my surroundings. Someone is even saying that he's going to die, but whatever. What do you think, Rinku? Sia asks me with a worrying voice. I don't ever have to. I don't even have to think about it. The flavor of her food is as good as what Kaede cooks for me. However, Kaede is slightly better when it gets to my preferences since we've been together for such a long time. It's delicious. <laughs> I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I worked hard. So, what are you going to do, Kaede? What? M me? Don't tell me you're trying to get away from this. What are you saying? I'm... I think the princess of the humans should be up next. You know... Uh, you know you're lucky, Rin. Will you stop looking at me like that? Your words and expression is contradicting. Well, I guess she's done it so many times at home already, huh? That's not true. Then tomorrow is your turn, Kai-chan. Good luck, Kaede-san. I can't! Not in front of everyone! So you mean you can do it in privacy? Make sure you use contraception, Rin. That's a man's responsibility. What? You guys are that far ahead of us. It's okay. I still love you, Rin-sama. It's not like that! Please, everyone. Stop now so I can see the sun again tomorrow. I'm frightened by the stares of other people. Chan, you sing really well, right? I just heard that everyone over in your world of devils calls you Angel Spell. Oh, no, that's not true. Please, we would love to hear you sing. It's lunch break. I overhear a conversation as I return from getting something to drink from the vending machine. Angel Spell, huh? I remember how Narine was singing in the park. She has such a clear singing voice, which was heard all the way in the residential area. That voice deserves to be called Angel's Bell. Calling a devil singing voice Angel's Bell. I don't even know who actually came up with it, but I think whoever it was did a great job. Uh, I'm sorry. It looks like the negotiation is almost done. Narine apologizes to the girls, who are disappointed. As Narine bows deeply to express her apology, the negotiation ends. So she refused. She can sing, that's for sure. I don't know why she's so bashful to sing for others. She was having so much fun singing, too. I reach to my drink while, waiting, or while watching Narine leave the classroom. 
So, it's time for You Can Do It Guy at H-On. The MC will be me, Mayumi's Time, and Inki Midoriba. We will make sure all of you will have fun. Yeah! Clap, 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 clap. You two will do a great job. Hey, you guys. Anyway, today's theme is... Rin's unhappiness is the world's happiness. How about this? Wah! Boo! What? Or that won't do. Rin-sama must become happy. Hey, you guys! We are having more fun than usual on the rooftop during the lunch break. Kaede and I are the ones on the spot. Come on! Why are you embarrassed? This is what you do all the time anyway. Of course you are in front of the crowd, but... No way! We haven't done that! Huh? You've got to be kidding me! You really haven't... fed him before? After living under the same roof for almost ten years? Anyone under the same circumstances have done it for sure! It's normal! That's just what you think. Who would actually do something like that? Sorry to tell you this, but I think that's normal too. Oh, uh, well, I guess you're right. Wait a minute, Kaede. Don't fall for it. You're talking to Itsuki here. Okay, I'll do my best today. Huh? I worked hard making lunch too. I packed enough for two in my lunchbox. Is that why I don't have a lunch? Come on, Rin. You need to notice things like that. Oh boy! You are really into this, aren't you, Kaede chan? To serve Rinkun is my life! However, I wasn't doing what I should have been doing. Rinkun, I'm so sorry. As she apologizes, she looks at me with tearful eyes. Wait, Kaede, don't fall for my Yumi and Itsuki's trick. It's too late. None of what I'm saying is reaching to her. But to make up for it, I'll do my best starting today. Open! Kaede-san! Woohoo! This is turning out to be something special! I guess this is what you get when you mix jealousy and passion, then multiply it by three. Uh... um... Open! Uh... So, uh, how does it taste, Rin? You shut up! I envy you, Kai-chan! Tomorrow is my turn. This is endless. People leave rather quickly after school. I walk down the hall with my bag in my hand after most of the students are already gone. Rin-sama! As I turn to the unexpected call, I see Narane running toward me happily. So, you're still here. Since I didn't see you in the classroom, I thought maybe you'd already gone. Sorry, I was talking to Itsuki. Isn't it unusual for you to be here until this late? Yes, I was talking to Mayumi-san. Unlike during classes, time passes quickly when we are having fun, huh? You're right. Narane giggles a little, but her face changes quickly. Uh, may I leave with you? My gosh, why are you so formal? We are neighbors, aren't we? Yes. But I'm sure you have some plans, too. I smile wryly seeing Narane act this way. Luckily, I'm done with my plan for the day. Let's go home. I take her... Wait, I tap her back. Sorry. We walk in the sunset. Narane's walking about a step behind me. By the way, have you heard everyone's final results? Although I'm sure everyone did well except Mayumi. So, how did Mayumi do? Well, uh... Never mind. You don't need to say. Your face answered my question. She should be happy that she can spend an extra month at school where everyone else has to stay home, even though the tu or even though the tuition has changed. Or that, even though the tuition is charged. Sorry. What a bargain! A bargain? Actually, it's only fair. She was goofing around when everyone else was studying hard. I'm not going to think about what I was doing myself back then because it's not important right now. Well, we'll enjoy our summer vacation. But I'll be sad 
fun not to be able to see everyone for a month and a half. You'll be, or you'll see them out. Eh, you'll see most of them very soon. Anyway, I heard this will be a hot summer. What do you mean? Rabenna Academy opens later than the others. However, the summertime is all free. You'll find out quickly. I used it extremely well last year. I'm planning to do the same this year too. I wonder how Narine would look. Just like Itsuki says, we boys can't help imagining things like that. Besides, Narine is attractive that way. Narine's charm. By the way... Yes? People call you Angel's Bell, huh? As soon as she hears my words, a shadow appears on her face. Did you happen to hear us today? Yeah, you said if there's a chance before, right? I would love to hear you sing again. I really don't mean anything special. I just say my honest feeling. But Narine surprisingly shows a sad face. I'm sorry. It's clearly a refusal. Her reaction is extremely unexpected, especially when I still remember her voice from before and I was hoping to hear it again. I wish there were a chance, but unfortunately, I don't think there will be. I don't like to sing. You don't? No. Narine's face is full of sadness and sorrow. I don't like to sing. But you were singing back then, right? The song you were singing at the park. Are you saying that someone who doesn't like to sing was singing like that? That was a requiem. A requiem? Sorry. I know people talk about my singing, but I don't want to sing. I don't want to. I don't know what to say to Narine. She's about to cry. I bet Narine truly doesn't want to sing. However, the voice I heard at the park, the clear melody line, someone who doesn't want to sing can't sing that way. Someone who loves songs. Someone who loves to sing. Only someone like that can capture people's hearts. Angel's Bell. I wonder what kind of emotion is in it. Alright, so now it's July 20th. Anyway, this is what I want to say. I don't care if you find a part-time job or even find a new relationship, but always remember to do things in moderation. I know, I know. Don't worry. I guess you are maturing decently. You're admitting on your own. I'll always believe in moderation. You're making it sound like you always act that way. You'd better correct yourself before someone says something. The semester closing ceremony, which is known as the annual lullaby festival, is now over. I think some people were actually sleeping. The customary comic dialogue of Miss B and Itsuki takes place. This is a must for the ceremony. I don't need to say anything about my report card. It's an okay report card. I think my grades are pretty decent. The semester has finally ended. Rincoon! Please leave him alone, he fought bravely. Of course, he had to win, but he lost. However, everyone were, will remember how brave he was, right? But... It'll be too cruel to remind him. Let's just not say anything. By tomorrow, he'll find himself stronger. I know he will. Yes, I think so. Sometimes, it's good to be alone when things are rough. That's right. That's exactly what he's going through right now. Hey, Mayumi. So, it's sure that you have to come to a summer or that you have to come to summer school, huh? Only two are attending out of our class. They're bright jewels. Oh, hush! That's on purpose, I know. When we come back, the two kings are there. Gentlemen, what's going on? They look unusually serious. I could feel something different in the air. Rinchon, please listen carefully. Yes? The King of Devils comes close to me. Let's go to the beach! Oh wait, whoops, let's go to the beach! The noble King of the Devils says something very out of character. Uh, you've done a great job. Oh, wait a minute, Rindono! The huge hand grabs my shoulder. He speaks calmly, but he sounds maliciously intense. 
Summer means the beach. The beach means a family trip. Family trips mean or trip means family fun. As the head of this clan, I have to make sure that or I have to make this a special event, you know. What he says isn't noble at all. Rinchan. Let's go to the beach. Hey, come on, let's go. You too. But I am all out of time for this episode, guys. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.